I don't actually have a clever intro for this episode. This is the strangest match I've done to date. We have Appa, the Flying Bison, taking on Absol, the Disaster Pokemon. Because stats for Pokemon can be interpreted so many different ways, I will take game mechanics and Pokedex entries with a grain of salt. Absol will be taken at max level and will be wild to avoid any trainer input as I will be focusing on just the two beasts. Flying Bison are the original airbenders in the Avatar world, and taught humans how to manipulate air. Like all airbenders, Appa can create air blasts. However, unlike human airbenders, Appa accomplishes this with a swish of his long, flat tail. Considering the size of Appa's tail compared to a person, one can speculate that Appa can utilize more air than the average airbender. Absol's ranged attacks consist of Future Sight, Psycho Cut, and Razor Wind. Future Sight hits the opponent with Psychic Energy, but does not connect until two turns later. When using Psycho Cut, Absol releases Psychic Energy from its horn. While this is a ranged attack, it's more of a mid-range than a long range. Lastly, Razor Wind requires time to charge up before use. However, due to its wind nature, Appa could easily redirect the attack. Overall, I give a solid edge to Appa due to Absol's ranged options being unreliable. While melee is a range Appa prefers to avoid, it's not one you'd want to face him in. Given his huge stature, Appa could easily crush a human or send them flying, uh, without airbending. As a flying bison, Appa is armed with two horns, a large flat tail, and six paws. Absol comes armed with claws, fangs, and a horn, all of which can be imbued with psionic energy or dark energy to deal additional damage utilizing moves like Psycho Cut or Night Slash, to name a few. Absol can boost his melee potential further with Sword Stance. While Appa could potentially deal more damage in this range, I feel Absol gets a moderate edge for more versatility. Appa's primary defense is Evasion Through Flying. Additionally, Appa can use airbending to deflect attacks. For a Pokemon, Absol's defense moves are quite few. Absol can create copies of itself using Double Team, or use its sixth sense to anticipate attacks by using Detect. Absol's ability Pressure also causes enemies in Absol's aura to be drained of stamina faster than usual. Neither side brings much in defense, but Absol has the better options and thus earns a slight advantage. Appa boasts impressive strength and stamina, being able to lift two Fire Nation tanks using his horns. During Aang's travels, Appa would fly long distances for many hours a day. Naturally, being larger, Appa would have a thicker hide, which implies he also has greater durability. As for Absol, this is where I start scrutinizing game mechanics. If one interprets attack as physical strength, then you're telling me that Oddish and Onyx can lift the same amount, and that Slacking can move continents. Sorry, I don't buy that. All of Absol's stats are decent, save for attack, which is impressive, indicating its natural weapons hit hard. Using moves like Quick Attack and Pursuit, Absol can gain a short boost in movement speed. For Physique, I give a solid edge to Appa for his strength and durability. Appa has no noteworthy feats of intelligence. 
In combat, Appa is either evasive using hit and run tactics or faces opponents head on with fierce tenacity. There is no in between. Absol has been shown to have a sixth sense, especially for environmental disasters. In battle, Absol is a cunning fighter adept at psychological warfare. Using moves like Me First and Taunt, Absol can manipulate its opponent. Many of Absol's moves have high critical hit rates, which could mean it goes for weak points specifically. For mental factors, Absol scores solid edge. At a distance, Appa's airbending secured the edge, while in close quarters, Absol's natural weapons won out. In defense, neither was impressive, but Absol was barely better. Appa's impressive strength and stamina won over Absol. When it came to mental factors, Absol was the superior combatant. The question remains, who would win? The fight starts with a hungry Absol wandering into a camp and digging through a backpack, when suddenly, a massive beast roars at it. It's Appa! Absol slings the pack onto its back and uses Psycho Cut. The attack connects, and Absol makes a run for it. Appa is unfazed by the attack and goes in for a headbutt. However, Absol was expecting this and counters with a sucker punch that staggers Appa. Absol then sets up a future sight while Appa is stunned. Appa gets back up and charges Absol. In response, Absol uses Detect to avoid Appa and sets up a double team. With a swish of Appa's tail, a blast of air strikes all of Absol's clones as well as the original. Absol darts towards Appa and uses Night Slash but misses as Appa flies up for more momentum. A blast of psionic energy hits Appa, knocking him to the ground. Absol charges Appa to finish the job with Night Slash, but headbutts Absol with enough force knocking it into a cliff face. Absol drops to the ground unconscious, dropping the stolen pack. Appa takes the pack. Feeling sorry for Absol, leaves an apple before flying off. This is a fairly close match. Ultimately, this match came down to Appa's mobility, making it difficult for Absol to do harm. And if he did, Appa's stamina could soak the damage. Sure, Absol's cunning and utility moves made the match closer. But in a stalling match, more often than not, Appa's stamina would come through. Appa wins 535 out of a thousand battles. But wait, what about Mega Absol? Mega Absol's flight would negate Appa's mobility advantage, leaving Appa with the only advantage of stamina. Mega Absol's massive boost to offense and speed, however, would overcome Appa's durability. It wouldn't be a fair fight. On the next episode of Avatar vs, Korra takes the stage in what could be her toughest fight ever as she faces the legendary psionic Mewtwo. If you liked this episode, be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already, and maybe share it with friends. If you have a suggestion for a future episode, comment it below. Thank you for watching.